started recruiting Becky out of high school, every single person that I talked to in Lee Summit, Becky was going to play basketball. Being a little bit persistent, um, I continued to recruit her as it uh, worked out. Becky chose volleyball and chose to be a Jenny. She earned 12 varsity letters at Lee Summit North and was the Kansas City Sports Commission Female Athlete of the Year in 2001 because she earned 12 varsity letters. And so, you know, you can think of that in two ways. Um, she was a phenomenal athlete, okay? E even when she was here, you know, she was an All-American in track. She was a national thrower in discus and the shot put. Well, Becky was a volleyball player here on campus and I found out about her just by looking at some of the state results and finding out, hey, she's already here on campus. And I thought, man, if I can get her to come out with her marks already as a high schooler, She'll be an All-American in her first year, and uh, that's how I found out about her. Uh, you know, I was actually a, a first-year GA. It took me two years to get her out for track and field, but once I did, uh, she was an All-American the next three years after that. Well, I think her greatest strength as a volleyball player was probably something that had nothing to do with actually playing the game, but being a great teammate. Becky was obviously starting middle for us and, you know, blocked a lot of shots and scored a lot of points, but she also supported her teammates in a way that made us truly a very good team. You watch the development of players over the course of their four-year career, and many players have an initial immediate improvement and then kind of level off, and sometimes even in their senior year, their production drops off. I really don't know how many players there were like Becky who had more kills every single year. That tells you a little bit about the player and their personality and their drive. You could see it on the volleyball court, but you can see it in her sense of ownership in the team, in terms of her level of commitment and, and her leadership, and in the classroom. Becky's a 4-0 student for four years, okay? She's a, she's a terrific student, and so that kind of personality, where she was a very, very organized, very driven, very, that, that carried over to her all aspects of her career at Central Missouri. She was a, you know, she's as good a representative of this university as you can have. She was so extremely dedicated, and it wasn't just to volleyball or track and field. It was in the classroom. It was to the community. Very giving of her time. I remember her being so organized, just knowing exactly where she's got to be. She would call me and say, hey, what time are we going to have practice a month from now? And I'd just be like, whenever you want, Becky, because she had scheduled it at that point because I didn't know. Every time I think of Becky, I think of playing, and I can't help saying that over and over. She had herself organized to the tilt, and I think that's the way she runs her life, her business now, and I'm sure her family is well, is well organized. Becky, congratulations on your induction into the UCM Athletic Hall of Fame. It's an honor to have coached you and to have worked with you and uh, to watch you compete. Becky, congratulations on this great honor. You certainly deserve it. And I wish only the best for you and your family and hope you will continue to be organized and be the planner that you've always been. And everybody in your family, family can be as successful as you have been. Becky, congratulations for making the Hall of Fame. I can't think of a better athlete that's represented Central Missouri over the course of the years. And I think you are very deserving and worthy entry into the Hall of Fame and I look forward to our continued relationships over the course of the years.